Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My today's topic is for Scout. In this, I am going to tell you how to add the L2 and L3 switches in for Scout and what are the options you need to, to mention or enable in the for Scout. Let's start. Let's before adding the switches in this module, uh, we first we uh, need to enable the modules of endpoint as well as network switches right click on this and start and wait to enable all the modules in endpoints all the plugins are almost done That's except in uh, HPS engine it is very important so we wait for us some time okay same as network module we enable all the network modules and wait for a while to enable all the modules now as you can see that all the modules are enabled we wait for hps engine to enable the network module all the plugins are enabled this is our switch plugin and this is our endpoint in endpoint this is our hps engine plugin okay we are adding switches so in that case our all the network module plugins are enabled so let's move to the switch and uh, add uh, add add the add the switch first we are going to add switch 1 i'm adding switch i'm going to add layer 3 switch first enter the ip address of the switch in my case i have a cisco switch that is if you want to mention the comment you can give comment is something like to identify this switch now we click on the cli now enter the password for the switch you must to must enable the enable privilege access in my case we have you we are using version 2 this is a community string you can choose your according to according your environment now see this is very important in permission we are going to define read write permission for switch plugin communication as well as advanced setting in discover if you want discover some other switches via l3 you can enable this if you enable this cdp fdp and ldp is enabled now mac permission we are going to add l3 switches in l3 we have a arc table so in this case for l3 we must enable read ip to mac mapping and write and in this case you can choose automatic or snmp or the cli i recommend you to add automatic 
ओके वी डिड नॉट एनेबल दिस ऑप्शन रीड मैट परमिशन बिकॉज दिस इज आवर एल पी स्विच इज विद दी हेल्प ऑफ एल सी वी आर एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई द आर टेबल नाउ मूव टू द नेक्स्ट एनेबल ए सी एल if you want to enable if you want to make acl on switch just enable acl this is a security group tagging we we will discuss this later next if you have a radius just add the radius secure security key now apply then yes you can check the status there is no error it is it means we have almost done all the things okay and now select and test the switch yes we are testing the switches okay that is good our all the things were passed yes read permission for mip okay switch blocks right now we are not going to do this okay we have not configured this query app table yes we have discovered 121 ipv4 addresses acls okay it means when i apply any acl via force out on a end point device i am able to apply this acl it request our table via cli assigned to vlan i have not configured but if i as uh, if i do the assign vlan it is not shown here because we have l3 switches and uh, end point devices are connected to l2 switches so in my case it is not showing it is just showing not configured now i am also going to add another l2 switch just add the ip address of the switch this is my counter act appliance in my case i have a cisco next yes i am going to use cli just enter the ssh with privilege password i am choosing as an mp version 2 add the community string as you had i have defined in as an mp configuration next yes now understand this is optional you can allow you can enable or leave it blank now this is my l2 switches as you know that l2 switches have a mac address table so we click here read and write for both permission because my snmp have both read and write permission if i did not give the right permission i did not allow these types of action like switch port block assigned to vlan and acl and i am using this snmp read write method okay we are enabling these both method because we have we have a snmp which has as both read and write action uh, read and write action enabled next yes we are going to perform acl click on this next leave it blank if you have a radius you can enter the radius key he here i will show you how to do a radius we can perform for end point authentication via uh, via force out for a triple a we do we can do this later now come finish it just wait for time apply as you see it is already green and tick that means it is okay to chalad i have received discovery mac discovery pending now yes from initializing to it's now running mode now test the switches 
Connect, connect, connectivity, pass, read permission, physical address 91, SNMP. As you can that switch code block, I, uh, I can do this via SNMP and assign to VLAN also I have this option. There are few more tests are pending. Let's wait. Eight out of ten are completed. I am waiting for two more steps. Yes, as you keep see that assigned to VLAN pass, ACL pass, switch flow, code block pass, all the action were passed. Now close it. I have added my two. I have added my two switches. You have a one more option if you want to see that you have received the last tab or not just go to this column and type wrap last received and enter here and make it to the up now okay last tab received it takes some time now friends as you can see that i have added both L2 and L3 switches. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. Have a nice.